Oh, Sonic. Sonic the Hodgepodge. Hold on, just, just a sec. Gotta do some setup. Game supports auto save. Where's my controller? Are you plugged in? There we go. Okay. It's the organ collection. Kind of quiet. No, stop. 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 Leave. Abort. Abort. Let's just get into the menu. The audio leaves when I go out of focus. Check, check. Hmm, maybe quieter. Seven, might be good. Check, check, test, hello. Yeah, that's probably good. Uh, so I booted this up real quick just to kind of test it out. Just to kind of see what we had going on here. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't mess with it for too long. Just kind of booted into Sonic, Sonic 3. So you got all this stuff. Generations models. But I mean, hey, if it, if it works, if it's there and you have it, I guess. Sonic CD Island Peninsula, whatever that is. Snock 2. Got all this stuff. I got mirror mode and boss rush and all that. And I'm probably gonna end up playing story mode. And you got the you got the Vejo Fortress. Oh, and he's even in, he's even in the he's in the barrel. <laughs> that's that's cute. But there's no like socks hanging around, so. What does the museum look like? Sounds. Oh crap, I don't have a... Uh, <laughs> I'm using my SNES controller, so I don't have the triggers. I can now swap characters? O okay. What is, the, what is the purpose of this? All right, so we got all that. You got all these, all these musics. Okay. Unused song. This was unused BGM in the Mega Drive Genesis version. No, it wasn't. Well, I mean, I guess it was in the prototype, but... So... Lava Powerhouse. Yeah. So, I've heard that... Well, hang on a sec. But we can't spend too much time listening to these. So, I've heard something about this. Let me see. Yeah, this is wrong. <laughs> this is... This track is mislabeled. This is Midnight Greenhouse. Midnight Greenhouse is, uh... Like, the seascape. I hope they fix that, because that's... Very unprofessional. Walk-in. Oh, uh, 
Is that walking? I don't think that's walking, but it's it's close. Walking. Okay, so how do I? Okay, why? Oh, this you can buy like more music. That was Evening Star. Yeah, I had a feeling. So like, there's the brawl. There's a brawl remix in here. The only remix Sonic has ever gotten in Smash. Oh, I got an achievement for that. What? Why can't we have some more? Oh, new museum content unlocked. That's cool. So... I guess these are just like remixes from other games. Let me see, is this the- is this the Generations 3DS? Yep. <laughs> they just let me listen to it before I've even bought it. Cool. Yeah, the Generations 3DS music in there. That's pretty neat. Illustrations. Snock. I- I- I really need full controller support for this. Some nice art. Got the box art, the manual- is it the whole manual? Why, yes it is. You got the whole thing, so, you know what, we're gonna be playing, uh... We're gonna be playing Sonic 1, so let's just, uh, let's read that a little bit. Oh, do I have to... <laughs> do I have to go out of full screen to be able to turn the page? That's... A little annoying. I mean, if I, if I was using my Xbox controller, it would be easier, but... Dr. Ivo Robotnik, the mad scientist, is snatching innocent animals and turning them into evil robots. Only one tough dude can put an end to the demented scientist fiendish scheme. It's Sonic, the real cool hedgehog with the spiked haircut. And the power sneakers give it, I, I'm becoming Australian. <laughs> Help Sonic fight the metal maniacs. And do the loop with the supersonic spin attack. Speed down, speed down twisting tunnels and swing over dangerous booby traps. And then leap over lava pits and dodge burning rocks. The splash through the chilling waters in the underground cavern. And if you're lucky, you can walk to the secret zone where you spin around in a floating maze. Your greatest challenge lurks in a secret lab when you come face to face with Dr. Robotnik himself. Spin through space, loop to your dizzy, save the animals and become the superhero. Be Sonic, be ato Atomic. <laughs> yeah, so we got, you know, so we got the art. That cool art. Oh, I hope I didn't click anything there. I don't think so. Okay. Cool. Oh, you got the Japanese manuals. Got Sonic Illustration 3. Yeah, it's like from that uh, internal Sega magazine they had. Oh, IDW Sonic cover. Hmm. I wonder where Archie is. <laughs> I wonder if they got any of that in there. And then we got the movies. Oh, cool, they just- they have Sonic Mania Adventures just included in here. That's- that's pretty nice. I like that. Uh, let's see, what else we got? We got the Sonic CD movie- oh, yeah, just all the cutscenes. What- what's in the premium collection? Oh, the symphony. The short- the short version. The opening cinematic. Yeah, you got like the storyboards and the rough drafts and whatnot. That's pretty cool. And this is like leaderboards, I'm guessing. Anyway, let's let's stop wasting time and get into story mode. Oh no! What the heck is that? I've never seen anything like that before. Oh, 
I love this remix, this music. I can already tell you this is the best part of the collection. Oh, got an achievement for nothing. Okay, just one sec. I need to- I just want to double check the audio real quick. Test. Testing. Check. Yeah, that's still good. What do you think? A little quiet? Or good? La la la. La 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 la. Test. No, I think that's good. Game is pretty quiet. Uh, well. You scare me, Miles. You scare me a lot. Let me see. Check, check. Now you know what? Six. Check, check. Test. Little more. I'm gonna do... 5.5 Maybe Check, check, test, right here Test, test, ah, uh, check No, I think I'm gonna go back down to 6, just to be safe Okay So let's go, Sonic 1 Got the spin dash now, and I think I have the drop dash, except it's improperly programmed. So it's just like I do a spin dash when I hit the ground. <laughs> oh, it's a little loud on my end. But I mean, I guess it's, it's better than nothing, I suppose. <laughs> the third Sonic 1 playthrough on this channel. Yes, this is... <laughs> I guess this technically counts as me redoing those old streams. They weren't very good back then. If you if you ask me, I'm not I'm not super proud of the quality. It's a lot better now. Also, I was going to try and have like an integer scale for this, and I was gonna like, you know, try to make sure it was super crisp, but then Sega's like, nah man, we're just gonna filter the ever-loving shit out of it, and there's nothing you can do. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> okay, I suppose. So yeah, we got coins instead of lives. It's in widescreen. This is based on, like, the mobile port back in, like, what was it, 2013? I want to say. It's weird that it's been that long. Like, it both does and does not feel like this has been out that long. Oh no, I wanted to bounce on you. Why do you not let me? So, yeah, instead of getting a life, we now get an extra coin. And I have a hundred to start with because I bought the digital deluxe super version. And I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did. Don't worry though, I got, a, I got it on a $10 discount, so it's not as bad. But anyway, I've paid my way to victory. <laughs> Alright, first special stage. Oh no, no, no. It, it's harder in the Retro Engine version, honestly. Like in the original, like, Genesis release, this special stage you could basically win by not pressing anything. But the smooth scrolling honestly makes it a little harder. These, these special stages always give me the supreme butt clinch. Ain't no poop getting out of there. <laughs> I'm sorry for saying that. But not that sorry. Okay. I always come down here to get this. Every single time. Oh, oh. Ah, yes, the lush 
fields of green hill zone. It really is a shame that we never see them again, ever. Hmm, look. Is it just me, or does the audio sound a little crusty? I'm not sure. I might have just imagined that. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is all the Sonic games back to back to back to back. You get them all as one continuous experience, but you can only play it as Sonic because they didn't want to... <laughs> they didn't want to make cutscenes for any of the others. Uh, Knuckles still isn't in Sonic CD, which is honestly... Next to... next to the scaling issue, I think that's the most disappointing thing. I really would have liked to play as Knuckles. That was like the one thing the Retro Engine's Sonic CD was missing, if you ask me. And this was their- this was their chance. This was their chance to fix it. And they just did not. They didn't feel like it. There's only a certain amount of effort we're going to put into this collection. If you- ah! Okay, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I can pay to win. I can pay to win. I'm unstoppable. Oh, 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 oh. So now, of course, I'm going to be incredibly reckless. Because all consequences have been removed for me. I don't even have to actually earn the coins. They, they're they just given to me by default. Sc screw the rules, I have money! <laughs> and then I get three more coins. <laughs> Thus negating any possible loss I could have had from that. I don't mind these being all cheesy now, honestly. I mean, I guess I don't, but it's, it is just kind of funny that it's like... Well, okay, there, there goes any possible consequence. There is no tension anymore. No, no, the audio definitely seems a little crusty in parts. I'm not sure what's going on there. Now, it could just be my setup. Like, I am pumping this through a virtual audio cable. But I don't know, I haven't had an issue with any other game. I, at least I don't think, I haven't noticed. Well, that, that's fair, Miles. That's fair. It just- it would be nice if they gave you more customization over that. Like, I'm sure you- you won't disagree with that, being Mr. Options Man. And yes, this means Sonic 2 will be utterly devoid of salt. Well, okay, maybe not that. But it ain't gonna have a lot. For some reason, in the in the retro engine version, they changed it to where you can't hit him before he has the ball out. You know, I would I would like an option to disable the anti-aliasing. What's what's fun What's funny is there actually is an anti-aliasing option in the options menu, but but it doesn't actually disable it. It's just if you turn it on, it applies even more. Which is like, I'm- I'm good, I think. I don't- I don't think I really need that. Oh, even more coins. I- I have a net gain of coins. Okay, welcome to Marble Zone. Do you see Mario? Do you see Mario in the background? 
shots fired, probably. Okay, no, I've lied to you. It's actually just two lions. Probably. I mean, I will say, even if it's like a stanky fake drop dash that doesn't have all the nuance, it still does feel kind of nice just to be able to do that. Momentum gameplay lovers hate him. Watch as one streamer destroys Sonic 1 with this one little trick. Don't hurt me now. Oh, oh, give me through. Part of me wishes spin dashing push that block. I, I think it does every time, and then I'm always disappointed. Oh, no. Oh. Whoa, secret. You're thinking of the Sandopolis switches. Oh, I know. I just keep thinking that does it too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Watch. Watch it. Uh. Oh, I don't like them. I don't like the bats. They drive me insane. What, did you think I was going to make some kind of pun? No. No, I never do that. That is so unlike me. Okay. Oh, it's the big old open one. I hate this one, probably. Oh, no. No, no, no. I mean, I would still like to win this first try because then I can hoard my coins like a greedy miser. Give me in there. Give me. No! Stop! Stop! You have violated the law! There we go. Are my glasses clean? I mean, they look, they look pretty clean. I mean, there's a, there's a little smudulation on the side, I think. So, hey, does everyone here know that they were going to have this zone in the 8-bit version, but then they cut it? Yeah, there's like an unused version of this song, this musical track. in the Game Gear Master System version. And I think that's pretty neat, personally. Somebody actually made a hack of the 8-bit version that makes it resemble this version more. The 16-bit one. And I mean, I know some people aren't into that, and personally, I, I, I don't know, I don't know if I am either. But it's neat to see. You know, kind of like an alternate reality type thing. Like, what What if... What What if... Marvel's What If. Oh, oh, oh! Who, who thought it was even remotely okay to put that there? God, I miss, I miss that service so much. That website. Can you call it a website? I don't even know. I'm telling you, ki kids are insane. They will post the most insane stuff on the internet. And you're powerless to stop them. It's to stop from simply holding right. Oh yeah? Well, me standing outside your house with a bat is to stop you from just walking forward. Oh yeah, spin dash power. Oh yeah, drop dash power. I, 
I mean, I will say one thing. Even if it's kind of cobbled together, I do appreciate that they at least tried to add a new move to this game. Because considering the fact that Knuckles is not in Sonic CD, I would not have been surprised if they just, like, ported the mobile version to PC and called it a day. Oh, wait, I gotta, I gotta break all of these. Not optional. Not optional. Oh, man, I wanted to fall onto that one. That would have been even better. But alas, sometimes we don't get what we want. All right, now I'm all powerful. I do not need your silly block. <laughs> I'm God. Haha, <laughs> got you. Is there any, is there a secret up here? No, there is not. Oh, is there a secret up here? No, there really is not. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna try over that way. No, try over that way. Are you gonna do some emission mode as well? Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll do, go through the missions. At, at least at some point. Like, I, I'm not sure, like... I'm not sure what this collection changes, personally. Like, I'm... I mean, not to the games, but to my, like, plans. See, I thought, like, okay, this might be the definitive way to play these games going forward. But now I'm not so sure. There's, there's some issues... And it's it's not quite ideal. So I may I may not end up doing my like tales in Sonic 1 and 2 or Knuckles Knuckles in Sonic 2 playthrough in this. I might still use the decomp. Because that's just it's just slightly better than this. I'm sorry, I, I didn't want to have to say that, but it's slightly better. <laughs> I, I don't know if there's a drop dash mod, though. Uh, I need to check that out. I mean, in fairness, like, the, this is... These are paid professionals. I, I really... You know, I, I don't think it's too wrong to expect a little bit more. You know? Just go... Just... You don't have to do just the bare minimum. You can go... Just put in a little extra effort sometimes. It, it'll go a long way. Alright, boss act. Boss act. You know, that almost sounds like a naughty word. I probably shouldn't say that. Oh, great. Great. Wonderful to drop dash. Oh, oh. Oh. Don't, 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 don't. Does mission mode have new levels? I haven't played it yet. I don't think so. I think it's modified versions of existing levels. I mean, I'd be... I, I'd like it if it had new levels, like... I mean, even if it's just like Sonic Colors Game World or whatever. Honestly, as, as much as I'm, like, criticizing this collection... And, uh, I mean, again, I don't think it's that wrong to do so. I, I will say that if you compare it to, like, the Game Boy Sonic Genesis, it's it's not the worst... It's, it's not the worst case scenario, I suppose. <laughs> then again, I suppose that's not saying a lot. <laughs> Uh, I mean, th my my boss is mean, and you know he's very mean to me, and he like abuses his position of power at work. But at least he's not Hitler. At least he hasn't murdered anyone. Honestly, I I'll have to do a stream of that version at some point. That would be funny. And everybody will be like, no, Dustin. Why? God, what am I doing? It's Act 3, so it doesn't matter, but still, what am I doing? But everybody will be like, oh, Dustin, no, why would you do that to yourself? It's a video game, dude. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not... 
Like, I'm not causing myself physical pain by playing a bad Game Boy Advance port of Sonic 1. Don't you love it when, like, YouTube reviewers do that, where they have, like, they have the game and they're like, Oh no! It is my nemesis video game from the 90s! Hook it up to a Game Boy player and play it with DK Bongo. I don't think I can. I don't think anything is mapped to the D-pad. <laughs> or the analog stick. Oh, Springyard. Because, I mean, this may or may not surprise you, but I have tried, like, playing unintended GameCube games with the DK bongos, and it... It is mapped to stuff, like... If you try to do it, it... <laughs> PLEASE! GIVE ME THE RICHES! It, but it is mapped to stuff, like, if you try to play it, it... It does map to button presses. I, I think it's like... It's been a long time, but I think it's L and R are the two buttons. Which I, I think makes sense. I think the bongos are like analog. Like they're pressure sensitive, so that would make sense to map it to the triggers, which are also analog. Um, I don't remember what clapping registers as. Or pressing the button twice. I, I hate this guy. This guy is an abomination in the face of God. Okay, take me up. Alright, this is my floor. Honestly, I, I like I like Spring Yard. Spring Yard is a level that's grown on me a lot over the years. If they if if it just didn't have the boxes, I think it might be like one of my favorite levels in Sonic 1. But it does. So it it, it isn't. But I, I have an appreciation for it. Oh, no, no, no. I need that ring. I need that one ring. Leave no ring uncollected. Leave no stone uncollected. Oh, wait, 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 wait. CPU! You're right, I have one of those! We. That's fun to do. It's risky, but it's fun to do. And isn't that- isn't that all that matters? Oh dear. Don't- oh no wait, this is- this is safe. I forgot this was safe. You mentioned Sonic Colors Game Land. I believe that has a recreation of this level with boxes and all. Yeah, I think all the Game Land levels are like remakes of- well, maybe- maybe just a certain, like, column of them, I don't remember. But yeah, they just- they just have a bunch of, like, remakes of Sonic 1 levels, you know, just for the heck of it. Just because they felt like it, and I can appreciate that. Or maybe because they were lazy, I don't- I don't know. Or run, ran out of time. You know, we always- we always call game devs lazy. You know, but sometimes it's- it's upper management. A lot of times it's upper management. I don't- I don't think anybody wants to put out a bad game. Except maybe the dude who made Hong Kong 97. He might have wanted to put out a bad game. And, and people who make joke games on the internet. In-universe, Game Land was made by Eggman. <laughs> that is true. You know, I- that reminds me, I- I think Game Land has it. When you're on the title screen of Game Land, which is a title screen, you know, within an, another game, once you've already seen a title screen, but it has, like, the the menacing music playing. And I like to think that's because Eggman's trying to portray himself as the good guy. I, I always love when they- when fiction does that, when the bad guy is trying- is very blatantly, like, trying to sway favor, <laughs> and it's just very obvious and- that it's not- not the case. There once was a little girl with great flaming eyebrows. <laughs> I peaked my mic a little bit by doing that. <laughs> oh, I got an achievement, ring collector. Hey, question, do you guys want to see the achievements?
Or do you prefer that the achievements do not show up? Because, I mean, I, I think I can make them show up if you want them. But it will also show that Nuigi is playing Monster Hunter. And I, I don't know if he wants that information disclosed to the general public. I should probably give Monster Hunter a try myself. I got it. I got one of them in that Capcom bundle. Eh, just announce them. Okay. I got Monster Hunter in that Capcom bundle, so... I mean, I guess I have no excuse not to. I also got pretty much every Devil May Cry game except for, I think, four? I think four is the only one that wasn't in there. So I guess that's a thing I could do at some point. Oh. I should not have gone down here. Or maybe I should have. Maybe this was my destiny all along. Oh, and there's a coin. <laughs> a reward for my hard work. You know what's messed up? Now there are coins and rings in Sonic. You know that, that one, like... No! <laughs> I always get stuck in this. Sega, how did you... Why did you put this in the final release? And why is it still like this? I mean, they do call it Spring Yard. It is not false advertisement. Uh, he just wasn't interested. But yeah, you know that one cousin, or like your aunt, or your mom, that always calls the coins in so calls the rings in Sonic coins? Oh, I messed up. There's some great irony in what I just did there. I'm never gonna recover from this embarrassment. I'm never gonna recover from my nose being so itchy. God, what's up with that? We. Oh, I actually did it that time. I actually jumped up here. I never do that. I think there's actually two goalposts in this act. And, like, one above and one below. Why they couldn't have just, like, merged into the same one, I have no idea. But nonetheless, that is not what they did. Okay, now this is one of probably the easier ones, I feel like. I mean, I could be wrong, I could be misremembering, but I think it's easy. I say as I'm destroying every foothold I have. You just gotta- you gotta wedge yourself in the corner here. No, it was easy. I remembered very much correctly. And I already have all six. There's no seven in this game, and thus you cannot turn super. Yeah, that that's what it was. It was it was intentional. It was it was lore consistent. Don't worry about it. Honestly, though, I like that that I like that it works out like that. It's just like, oh, why doesn't why can't you turn super in Sonic One? Oh, no, oh, he just didn't have all of them. He forgot one. It would honestly be neat if there was a cutscene to that effect, where Sonic's like, What? There's seven of them? And Tails is just like, Oh yeah, you didn't know that? I thought everybody knew about that. Yes, yes, the seventh emerald, we all know about it. I... Honestly, I think a big reason I like this stage is because I this stage has really good color contrast Like look at that green bush with this like orangey foreground Tyson Hess seems like the kind of guy who would suggest that Well, we'll see What's up here? I don't even remember. I I ain't even know We okay that didn't work out Oh, but it's gotta... It's gotta work out. Hang on, let me just jump up on this corner. 
Okay, there we go. We No! Okay, I'm fine. My ego's a little bruised, but ultimately I'm okay. No! I'm not fine anymore! Mild inconvenience! Oh, no, don't jump into that guy. I mean, it, I've got I've got all the emeralds. I don't know why I'm acting like it's still important that I keep my rings in hand. I mean, I guess you could get more coins. That's your new motivation to do well, so you can buy more crap. You know, it's a lot like capitalism when you think about it. You want to do well, so you can buy more crap. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no you don't, no you don't! We cope? Cope? That's not very nice. I'm not even salty. <laughs> what if... <laughs> what if they released this, and those cope signs were replaced with mauled? How would you react? Like if it just said mauled instead of cope? I'd say seethe, but I don't think they can fit that in there. You can just barely, like, get a hit in th on this guy when you're not supposed to. I appreciate that. If you're- if you're very consistent about it. You're very precise. Always loved, like, the silly barriers they added for widescreen. You know, a lot of games, a lot of games just would not work in widescreen and without translating a ton of stuff. Like, Mega Man is the example I always go to. Like, Mega Man, you would have to make some of the screens, like, an extra third, like an extra 30% uh, of its size. 32. I don't know, 33.3.3333333. Oh boy, it's the best zone in the game. But but anyway, wh what I was saying was, you know, Mega Man powered up, you know, that's in widescreen. And the new mode... Like, the new widescreen version... Uh, all the level designs are totally new. They have- I got an achievement for breathing in a bubble, I want you to know that. But the level design is totally new in powered up. And they- they have an original mode. But that version's in 4x3. Because it would just take so much to adapt the levels. And ultimately, if you make the screens a, an extra, like, 33% wider, then is it really the same game anymore? I mean, I know that sounds a little dramatic, but it's like... The... The moment-to-moment -moment experience is irreversibly changed by that. Honestly, it's a miracle that Sonic works as good as it does. Uh, Legend of Zelda is also another one where it would be like... Like the original Zelda. You could not make that widescreen without fundamentally changing the game. That game is so screen-based, and then it's just like, you know, it's an extra 33% of your time, your playthrough, that's just spent walking across the longer screen. That being said, 3D games, of course, do not have this problem. Oh, thanks, cool. And honestly, it, it'll save me some time. Oh, it's the sponge. The cork sponge. Gotta be one of my favorite Sonic 1 objects. Man, the Sonic 1 beta was all kinds of wacky. Like, you got the freaking... Or the pro the prototype, at least. You got the freaking ball that you push down the hill. You got... <laughs> just, I don't know, there's such... The stuff they didn't use in that game is so weird. In this game. In... <laughs> Sonic 1. You know. I don't know, I love... I love prototypes. I love seeing what didn't make it into a game, and it's it's a shame we have to go to such lengths to get our hands on those. 
Oh, I've told you about this. I think I told you about this in my first playthrough of Sonic 1. But right there, I believe, if you if you roll off the edge of the screen in the original Genesis version, the game will crash. <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> would not recommend. Not a not a thing I would advise. Yeah, God, my nose. My nose just acts up when I stream, and I don't know what the deal is. It's rebelling against me, my own nose. The nose knows, and it doesn't like what it knows. The poor souls that had all emeralds and then found that out. Oh yeah. Wouldn't want to be that guy. It's funny to think that the drop dash was very nearly a move introduced in Sonic 3. Like, we were this close to having the drop dash in Sonic 3 from the get-go. And that's just, that's wild to me. Like, I think, I think Christian Whitehead was even asked about that, and he just, like, did a winky face. He, like, you know, so, that, I mean, that's about as close to proof as we're gonna get, I think. But that's, that's, this, this is just wild. It's, it's wild, and it's so cool, and I like, I love to see it. And also, there was some kind of thing where Sonic could shoot rings, and I don't know why that was in there. I, do, I don't know why that was a mechanic they were considering. Maybe we almost got Shadow the Hedgehog in the 90s. Hey, Isaac. Good to see you. Can I get past this guy? Nope. He wasn't moving fast enough. Not moving nearly fast enough. Not like me. Not like me, the speed demon. So, did you guys ever see that thing where, like, Ken Penders license out Scourge, sc Scourge, Scourge the Hedgehog? And somebody made a comic about it called Scourge the Speed Demon? That's pretty weird. Ken Penders is pretty weird. And then it and then it turned out there was like some controversy with the people writing the comic or something, and then it didn't actually happen. Oh hey, another another fun fact about Sonic 1 I know I'll tell you in just a second. I mean, th there's this waterfall. We we're not focused on that right now. Tetris. I probably said the same thing the first time I played this, but you know, it's still true. I was never a fan of the drop dash much. I like the, I get its mechanical relevance, but I feel like these games levels weren't, weren't built around it. Yeah, I suppose that's fair. Though I, you know, technically the spin dash wasn't designed for this game either, so. You know, it would be nice if it was toggleable. Y you know, Sega? That would be pretty cool. Oh dear. Oh, but hang on. I don't really like the spin dash in Sonic 1 for the same reason. Uh, yeah, again, that's fair. I understand the kind of the purism of it. You know, you want it to be as it was. But I, I like it for replays at least. Like, okay, I've, I've experienced Sonic 1 as it was, so... It's like, okay, let me try it with something different now. Anyway, what I was gonna tell you is, in the original game, this graphic, like the wave graphic, was actually created, I think, to hide the V-blank artifacts that the water effect created. Like, that's how they do the water palette and everything, is that midway, like on a certain scan line, they switch the game's color palette and it's, you know, it's a very, it's a very cool effect, honestly. I don't think Mario ever had anything like that. Though Donkey Kong Country had, like, a water... You know, like a, what would you call that? Like a vanishing point or something that, like, 
grew and shrunk depending on where it was on the screen. And I mean, I guess Sonic did that too later on. That's pretty cool. I like it when they do that. How do I get down here? Wait, how do I get- oh, there's the switch. I forgot- I forgot that- no! Also, as with every version of Sonic 1 that has existed since the original, you don't die if you get knocked back into spikes from other spikes, which is called the spike bug, but kind of erroneously, because that's actually intended programming. Now, why they intended that? Does, does anyone ever feel like this path, like this tunnel right here, is there supposed to be a water current in that? I always feel like there should be, but there never is. But anyway, why they intended... Why they intended, you know, the spike bug, I have no idea. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. Maybe they just thought the game was too easy. I don't know. It's kind of stupid. I won't lie to you, and I understand why they removed it from every subsequent re-release. Re-release. I don't know, sometimes I just say words funny. The fades don't have the blue tint. Hmm, that's weird. Because I know Sonic Mania does. So it's weird that it wouldn't be in this. Maybe... Maybe the gang down at... Uh, God, I don't know, Head Cannon, Tax Man, like, Christian Whitehead, Evening Star, whatever the heck they're going by these days. Maybe they just hadn't figured that out yet. You know, it would have been cool if they, um, added it added it to this collection. You know, make a little, you know, just a couple of little improvements. Please. Come on, guys. Just, like, if you can't figure it out, just get, get Taxman back in here. You got stealth to do the Sonic 3 port. Just... Everything they touch is gold, just let them do it. Well, okay, I say that, but apparently the Sonic 3 port is a little buggy. I mean, it's not really a port, like a source port. A... Oh dear, that's the one thing we didn't want to happen. But yeah, the Sonic 3 is apparently a little buggy in this, and I, though I don't know if that's Sonic Team's fault, I don't know whose fault it is. Oh. Because I know, I know Sonic Team worked on this a little bit internally. Oh dear. Oh dear, stinky. Stinky. Okay, we're good. My impressions of Origins are, it's very neat, but I don't know if it's worth the upgrade price. Yeah. Presume these were lavish recreations of the engines rather than source ports. Yeah, that that is what they are, but it just... I don't know, we need a term for whatever this is that rolls off the tongue a bit better. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened to Sonic 3 to make it as buggy as it is. I, I hope this game gets some pat some patches, replicas. Yeah, that's not a bad word. Oh, God! Ah. <laughs> but I, I hope they patch this to fix some of the glaring issues. But you never know with these people. Oh no, I wanted I wanted to be up there. Oh, I can. I can be up there. Hey, dude. Uh, <laughs> Dustin's coke addiction showing. Uh. Honestly, I've always been more of a Pepsi man. Mania's team was good about fixing things. Yeah, they were. But my concern is that Mania's team is not working on this. <laughs> because, okay, okay, from the sounds of things, this is, this is... I'm stuttering a lot today. This is, to my knowledge, how things went down. Uh, Headcanon was... hired to create the so 
the version of Sonic 3 that is in this in this collection. However, they were not contracted to make the collection itself. That was Sonic Team. So basically, they had a version of Sonic 3, and it was Sonic Team's job to integrate it into this collection, which is why I'm not sure whose feet to... <laughs> I'm not sure whose feet to put the blame at, is what I'm getting at. But yeah, I don't know. They, they may not bring them in to do anything. They probably won't. I mean, Sonic Team could still fix some of this stuff, but the thing is, will they, and will they do it competently? I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm a little miffed about the scaling options, or rather, the lack thereof. I've always loved the parallax in Star... Starlight. Yeah, it's pretty good. If I'm not mistaken, Stardust Speedway does a very similar effect. Though, if I have one complaint, it's that it kind of looks like the stars are right above me. Like, like... <laughs> it just looks like it's right there. That's why I love it. Okay, fair enough. I'm just saying it's a little concerning. Sonic... <laughs> Sonic's probably running out of air, if that's the case. Then again, you know, he was in space in several games for, with no ill effects. You know, that's the, that's the thing with video game characters, really, is that... You know, going to the dark, cold, atmosphereless void of space, and you're, you're totally fine. Nothing, nothing to complain about. But stay underwater for literally two seconds, and they're suddenly dead. I don't understand. Suckers! And I mean, you know, Mario's guilty of that. At least in the 3D games. I don't think Mega Man has ever done that, though. Super Paper Mario is the opposite. Yeah, weird, you know, unusual inversion. I also, I love it. Ooh, speak, speak, we're standing here. We're waiting and you're doing nothing. I always like the half, like the cut in half spike ball. That's a fun object. Oh. Hmm. This is not a good arrangement for me. <laughs> That's... Dang fan. Listen, I always like to appease my fans, but they have to give me some space. That's a real parasocial relationship going on there. Oh. So, I never knew that you could defeat the boss by springing into it like this. I mean, I don't know why. It stands to reason. What I always did was I just, like, waited for him to come back around, and I, like, flicked the ball into him like that. So... The actual, like, jumping mechanic was something of a late discovery for me. I did that, too. Okay, well, I'm glad it, it wasn't just me, at least. I mean, it wasn't even because it was hard. It was because I just I just didn't think to do it. It just did not occur to me at that age. But I mean, the fact that the balls, you know, do hurt him, I suppose, you know, I suppose that does mean they at least sort of intended for that. Yeah, I know. I'm tr I'm tripping over my own tongue tonight. Can't do it. Can't speak. Speaking is just too difficult. Which is why I have chosen to stream on a regular basis. Okay, last last zone. Well, that's not true. The last zone, the final zone is final zone. Okay, so I mentioned how I like the cut-in-half spike balls. I always hated these things. I always hated it! 
I remember when they first invented Scrap Brain. Can't complain about the music, though. The music's pretty good. Even if it sounds like nothing else in the series. Oh, well, maybe because it sounds like nothing else in the series. Oh, dear. Okay, I'm cool. Okay, excuse me, don't want to deal with that. We... we... oh! Aw, oh, dang it. Dang it, Bobber. Dang it, I want to go to Scrap Brain. Bobby, Scrap Brains are for hedgehogs and losers. So, this has only been taking about an hour, so I suppose I could probably, after this, move on to whatever game is next. Could maybe make it a twofer. Gravelly voice made of sandpaper. But damn! What are you, what are you talking about? He does an, a fantastic impression of Bobby Hill. Frankly, I can only stand in his shadow. <laughs> cool, thank you. I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. I never see that coming, I don't think. Never, ever. Never have I ever seen that coming. Okay, now, that- that one was on me. Okay, that one- mm, I don't know, I'm not gonna call foul, but I, I'm considering it. It's funny how much this act foreshadows the torture that is Metropolis. Honestly, I like Metropolis a bit better than Scrap Brain. I know that's blasphemous to say. But, honestly, it is true. Ooh, yeah, that was a little risky. Oh, going down. I'm not a huge fan of this part, either. Like, just, okay, just wait for the ball. Let me, let me take this time to scratch my nose again. Because, apparently, I have nose mites that are biting me relentlessly. Metropolis is a huge step up over Scrap Brain. My man, my man, nah! You know, hang on, hang on. Actually, I have never paid attention to that that orb before. I have, I don't think I've ever looked at this. Oh, my coins are one, two, three. You know, it would be cool if you could just remove parts of your body as they were not needed. I think I think that's what needs to be done. Like human version two, we should be modular. All right, so labyrinth act four, because labyrinth zone was just so good. They just they had so many ideas. Hey, look, it's like the. It's the game- the thing from the game of life. It's like a emitter. Or whatever they call that. I- I'm going to have a name for every possible block pattern in a video game. It's like, oh, that's Tetris. That's the game of life. And then game developers are gonna be like, please stop saying dumbass things. 
All right, I wonder if this is the last one. Yeah, drop dash kind of trivializes this a little bit. Behold. Oh no, wait. The most, the most exciting boss in any video game. And I will hear no arguments to the contrary. I mean, you can also just spin dash. I guess that's always been possible too. Well, not always. I had to, I went on this whole, like, Ted, I went on this whole Ted talk about how that's not always been possible. You know, I forget, uh, Sonic Jam had the spin dash, right? Mania version is better. Oh no, Mania version's definitely better. They didn't, they didn't program it right for this one. That being said, apparently it's correct in Sonic 3, which leads me to believe that Headcanon actually coded that one. Yeah, Jam had it. Okay, cool. I, I just want to make sure I was remembering right. You know, one day I'll have to take a look at the Jam exclusive stuff. Like, just show you every different <laughs> version of Sonic possible. Because, I mean, Jam did have different layouts. And I, I feel like that's the one thing that this is missing in terms of content. Oh, I was talking about the boss fight. Yeah, you're right, Mania version is better, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like, the, the Jam exclusive layouts are still Jam exclusive as far as I'm aware. At least, maybe outside of mods, maybe a mod has recreated them. And I feel like if you could get that into the retro engine version of Sonic 1, or the di all of the Sonic games, I suppose, not just Sonic 1. But if you could do that, I, I think that would make it firmly the definitive version. Biggestland. Have you met my friend Biggestlandus? He has a wife, you know. Her name is Phoenix Ree. The retro engine version of Sonic Advance. If they ever did a Sonic Advance collection in widescreen, that would fuck. Technically, they're already in widescreen, but I know you mean wider screen. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'd buy an Advance collection. Though, I'd hope they'd put a little bit more effort into it. I mean, okay, I'm, I'm being mean. There's, there's a lot of effort... Well, maybe not a lot of effort, but there's at least some effort put into this. I just think there maybe should have been a little bit more in some other areas. But I mean, I'll give Sonic Team credit. The menus look really good, and I appreciate all the references to like, you know, there's 3D Blast and Spin Ball. They didn't have to put that in there, but they did, and I appreciate that. You know, I don't... I don't want to be just pure negative Nancy and be like, Oh, Sonic Team, you messed everything up. You ruined it. You ruining it. You're ruining it! <laughs> but no. They, they did some stuff in this that's really cool. And I appreciate- even though Tyson Hess did it, did it, I appreciate that they, you know, actually got the animated cutscenes. Speak of the devil. Oh, wait, wait. Are we actually gonna get- Are we are actually- Oh my god, they are literally- <laughs> I mean, not vocally, but they are literally doing like the, oh, there's a seventh. Thank you, Mr. Hess. Very cool. Okay. Okay, so Sonic CD is next in line. I was wondering where that would... I was wondering where they would put that. And she's even got the tarot card, so... God, this is so cute. Best part of the collection, bar none. <laughs> just gonna, just gonna re-roll. <laughs> uh oh. Oh 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 oh. And then you get the original, the original FMV.
and it's the U.S. soundtrack. God, I love this song so much. Oh yeah, and uh, very cool upscale. They did like some cleanup. Though granted, I downscaled it again to 720p because, you know, I was, you know, I was gonna do this as an integer scale, but whatever. I mean, I could, I could set it back to 1080 because, because I'm not integer scaling it anymore, but okay, so question. Question. Do you want the U.S. soundtrack, or do you want me to switch to Japan? I'm going to do the U.S. soundtrack sometime, whether it's right now or, you know, later, when I do the Tales playthrough. I, I guess what I'm asking is, do you want it during the Tales playthrough, or do you want it now? All right, U.S. it is then. So do I have the... Okay, so I have the drop dash and CD too. Just making sure. So that is a consistent thing across all the games. Love me some Sonic CD. Probably one of my favorite Sonic games next to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So I gotta go... Gotta go to the past now. Gotta worry about that. Oh, and I'm getting achievements left and right. Oh, here's the projector. Just gonna... Just gonna teabag Metal Sonic. Sonic CD is like if Sonic 1 was designed on LSD. It really is, and frankly, I'm, I'm here for it. It's just, it's so much more visually interesting than Sonic 1, in my opinion. And that's not saying Sonic 1 looks bad. It's just that this looks so much better, in my opinion. Like, this is just a gorgeous game all around. Pixel art heaven. And it's a shame that I can't get an integer scale of it! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm good. I'm good now. Oh! It's those hidden springs they like to use so much in modern Sonic games. <laughs> I like the P on top of the coin UI, that's funny. Alright. Time for UFO. Can Dustin do the UFO run? Can he do it well? The answer is yes, because he is based. Oh, but I missed one. Missed one. That's okay. Special stage US over special stage JP, in my opinion. That's another one where I feel like I, I don't have much of an opinion. I could go with I could go with either one, and I'd be happy. I mean, well, I mean, not to say I'd be unhappy with any of the songs, but you know what I mean. I'm saying they're they're both about equal in my eyes. I don't feel like either one is a downgrade over the other.
Okay, now we got to the zone where time travel is going to be a little trickier. I always- I get this and I'm never sure where to use it. Okay, good. Okay, gotta go back to the past to play the shitty games that suck ass. Actually, no, because this game does not suck ass, in my opinion. Some people disagree, but those people are infidels and will not join me in God's kingdom. Okay, so, I mean, I'm gonna try to look for the robot generators or whatever they're called. I, I probably am not gonna give a darn about Metal Sonic right now. I already got that achievement on the Steam version. Oh, oh, watch out. Watch out now. It's just dangerous out there. Okay. Now we have to go back to the future, Marty! To play the shitty games that suck ass! Um, but Doc, I want to play good games. No, Marty. We have an obligation to YouTube. <laughs> or, I guess, screw attack, maybe, I don't know. No, though, wait, I was in the past. Never mind, the future, it, it is YouTube. Hmm, good future. Games suck ass in time- all time periods, apparently. Well, where there is good, there will always be evil. That is the nature of reality. Also, one thing I really like about this game is that... The bad futures show- which I haven't actually shown yet, but the bad futures show... You know, a future overrun by technology. A future where nature is destroyed by it. But the good futures are like, oh, you know, you know, this, there are some uses for technology that w aren't harmful. You know, you can you can make them live in harmony if you really try. And I appreciate that because that's a surprisingly nuanced take on the subject. You don't see that a lot. Aw, oh, man, I meant to separate these videos. Oh, well. I guess they're just going up as Sonic Origins now. It's just gonna be one big ol' Sonic Origins... ...video. Because I don't care enough to split them. Oh. Okay, so now... Now we're getting a little trickier with the UFOs. Whoa, whoa. Okay, gimme that. Gimme that. Yep. Okay, yes. Yes, no. No. Okay, one left, one left, there we go. I mean, I got, I got the coins. Like I said, if I have money, then I will never fail. <laughs> but still, if I do it in one try, then I look based. The special stages in this game are really generous and pretty easy. There, there was a point where I had trouble with them. You know, there was, there was a point where they gave me a lot of trouble, but I think I've, I've gotten pretty decent at them. Mm. That crispy red book. Even though it's not technically red book anymore, and it's also not on a- it's not on a CD either. So nothing about this game is how it used to be. All my life, I was told a lot. Ah, nightmare music.
it's just, I don't know why. I don't know why. Wait, wh what was the name of the guy who did the U.S. soundtrack again? Was it Howard Drossen? I don't know why he decided. I don't know why he decided to make the boss theme so scary. I mean, I understand it was supposed to be darker, edgier, but we might have we might have gone a little too far. Spencer Nielsen. Oh, who is Howard Drossen? Why did that name pop into my head? Who is that again? Oh, Amy didn't yelp. Zero out of ten. Oh, Drossen was Sonic and Knuckles and Spinball. Okay. I don't want to go to the future, actually. On second thought, let's not go to the future. It is a silly place. Where's where where is the past? I want to go to the past. No, no, no. Get get rid of the future. I don't want it right now. Oh, there's the jet. Could you not? Could you not do that? Okay, there's future again. But I need the past. Oh wait, there's past, and it's like the easiest time travel in the entire game. Cause you just go- you just go down here. Man, this is such a good game. Yeah, I agree, I- I, I love it quite a bit. Anyway, back to the past we go. Yeah, so like, literally impossible to fail time travel. And we get the <laughs> the past music that does not match at all. Has anyone tried restoring the fidelity to the past future choir sound? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm not sure that I'm not sure that would be possible cuz I'm not sure where it I'm not sure where it comes from, honestly. That would depend on where Sega got it. Like if it, if it was done in house, there's like basically no chance, but if it was just taken from a sample C CD somewhere, maybe. And there we go. Frequency restoration, but it can only do so much. Oh, yeah, I guess that is true. I guess you could, like, interpolate it. Well, I suppose it'd be better than nothing. But, I don't know, I kind of like it crunchy. Oh. This game and Chaotix have the best visual design of all the classic Sonic games. I agree. It's a shame that Chaotix isn't a slightly better game. Because, honestly, the visuals and music in that game are killer. And I... Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good that that just happened to me. Honestly, though, it's just... I, I lost my train of thought, but it's, Chaotix is very good-looking and good-sounding. That's roughly the point I was trying to make. Let's go to the good future. Let's see some good in the world. Honestly, considering that we're already, like, I think 20 minutes into Sonic CD, and I'm only on the second zone, I might have to continue this another time. This is approaching the two-hour mark. I don't know, we'll have to see. Yeah, just bounce- just bounce me around. Just- just bounce me every which way. I need to get 50. Oh, no, no! No, stop! Eventually, physics will get you out. I think the goal is this way. Like, I, I, I want to say. I don't know, I'm scared. I just, I want my time stones. Oh, oh, please. Please. Please, I'm just a boy.
Euh. Come on. Come on. All right, cool, cool. Oh, there's rings down there, but I can't have them. You cannot get you rings. Okay, so I gotta go back and look for some more, I feel like. I mean, maybe I could go back to the past and that would respawn some, I don't know. I forget how that works. It might not be necessary. Oh, no, no, I want in there. There's rings in there. It, give. Give. G give. Stop! Ah, Mr. Freeman. Oh. No, no. No. Can you stop with the diagonals, please? Diagonal spring. Not my friend. Whoop, no. Come on, I'm- I'm very- I'm very close. <laughs> this is always the silly part of Sonic CD. You know what, I'm gonna go back to the past. See if there's more rings in the past. See if they respawn. I mean, there's at least some here. Come on, come on. Get out, get out. Let me out of here. It seems like they do respawn, yes. Oh, but I gotta be- I gotta be careful. The good future is not- not very full of danger, but there is danger to be found here. Okay, we're good. We're good. UFO part three the UFO winning Oh slow down weird weird slow down Guys do you even know what <laughs> what my specs are do you even know Ah, uh, the lemonade stone I can go back to the age of lemonade. Was I the only one who thought the three lines on the level card meant three? I don't know. Sonic... <laughs> yeah, it's... These title cards are a little indecipherable sometimes. Get rid of those guys as soon as possible. Go over this way. Get some ring. And now go the way the game very clearly wants me to go. Ah uh, yes, Gemini Man. You know... I, I feel like it would be a cool thing to do for a Mega Man game. Like if they hadn't already had Gemini Man. I'd say it'd be cool for, you know, a Mega Man game to have bosses named after astrological signs. That might be neat. Like you got Jim and I, well, then again, you would have to have a boss called Cancer, and I don't know if they want to do that. Oh, give me, give me in there. Give me in there. 
Yep. Okay, I'm good. We. Actually, a boss called Cancer is a great idea because who doesn't want to whoop Cancer's ass? That is true. I will give you that. There was a Mega Man X game that had an enemy called Walt Cancer. Uh... Sir, I'm afraid you have cancer of the wall. I think it was X3. Yeah, that sounds like X3. What weapon would you get, though? Oh, I don't know if I want to think about that. Get equipped with Cancer Beam. Oh, oh, please. I just jump right through that. God, I can't believe you just jumped through the flipper. Sonic CD, literally unplayable. It really is true what they say. Sonic was never good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to play The Last of Us Part 2. Love when the bitrate takes a fat shit and I have to reload the tab. Honestly, mine has been behaving itself lately, I think. At least this stream. I mean, sometimes it doesn't. But I, I think it's okay. But my, it might just be a you thing, I don't know. Let, let me know. Or don't, whatever. I'm not your dad. You can do whatever you want. That's possibly the lamest way to time travel ever. Let's see go. Sonic game, no pressure. Oh, crap. I thought I could maybe catch him from there. Oh, well. Let's... Let's see what I can do. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't put me in the water zone. God, I can't believe I'm so unbelievably based at this game. Misty Maze, yeah. Got that backdrop. Maybe one of these days I should stream Sonic Mega Mix. The, his the history of Sonic Origins. And also the, you know, mania and all, a lot of things, really. Somebody should make a mod where if you fall in the water in the special stage, you wind up in Tidal Tempest early. I just noticed there's a coin bonus here. They actually, did they put coins in the special stage? Strange. Anyway, it's time for the best boss in Sonic history, bar none. Excited for this guy. Excited to fight Eggman's stupid pinball device to nightmare music. Oh 
<laughs> Sonic, welcome to Pinball from Hell. You either beat this boss in five seconds or it takes eight years. There is no in between. Title template, yeah. But I am a hammer. But I am a hammer. But I am a But I am a hammer. I whistled for a cab, and when it came near, the license plate had fresh knit a dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say that this cab was rare. Thought, forget it. Yo, Holmes to Bel Air. Honestly, I think whenever I listen to this song, I end up liking it a bit more than I remembered liking it. Like, the the voices, the singing voices were real good. It's like if Labyrinth Zone didn't suck. Yeah, basically. Or if, you know, you're really stubborn, maybe Hydro City. And it is Hydro City, by the way. Hydrocity is not a word. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, that's that's fair. Neither neither is Sandopolis. That is admittedly true. But at the same time, Sonic games have a history, a noted history, of putting Opolis at the end of things. Such as Gigalopolis and Casinoopolis, so it... You know, is a bit more plausible, I think. At least that's my stance on the matter. Please leave your opinion in the comment below. Sandopolis was the first one. That is true. But it is a thing that recurred. Have they ever made a velocity pun in another game? I think not. Honestly, I don't really care what you call it. I just think it's fun to have this, like, stupid controversy. <laughs> over what a sonic level is called, how it's pronounced. It's like, such the- it's the dumbest non-drama possible. Okay, we're getting a little trickier at this point. Tricky dick. Nobody tricks our dick. No! Come on, if I'm gonna go in the water, at least give me the UFO. No! Okay, just one left, and I got, like, 20 seconds. I think I'm all right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> People arguing about uh, Hydro City. Meanwhile, I'm trying to figure out what the hell a flying battery is. Unfortunately for every person laughing about it with their friends, there are 20 people who get legitimately heated about it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I want to go- I don't want to go to the future yet. Don't even get- don't even give me that. You know, Tidal Tempest kind of looks like the, uh, padded room that Mrs. Puff has put in. Made of sponge! Is there just a shield in there? 
Honestly, I, I will concede that hydrosity flows off the tongue a bit better. Like, I'm not even gonna try to pretend it doesn't. Oh, no. Oh dear, don't- no. Okay, I'm okay. Where's the past? Give me the past. Give me the past. No, I don't want that. Bong bing. That Mrs. Puff comment got me weak. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. There's plenty more where that came from. Uh, again, impossible to fail. Time travel that is impossible to not do. You you have to be going out of your way. <laughs> oh, coin. I'm rich. Me millionth dollar. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, I think... I think the machine is just right down here somewhere. Is it not? Wait, was that Metal Sonic? Yeah, it was. I mean, I'll get it if it's right here. I used to really hate the time travel mechanic when I was younger because I found it hard to do. Now I realize that the level design gives you thousands of time travel loops. I mean, honestly, I think the fact that it's hard to do is what makes it satisfying to me. You know, you got like... You know, you have to use your brain a little bit. Uh, I mean, I understand that, you know, some people don't want that out of a Sonic game, but I... I kind of appreciate it. You know, you have to... You have to look at the lay of the land. Also, these flowers have the underwater distortion and it bothers me. I just focused on p collecting the time stones. And I mean, yeah, you can do that. You know, if you don't want to... If you don't want to mess around with the time travel, you don't really have to. I mean, it does kind of stink that the, you know, the time travel is rendered pointless by the time stones. But also, I mean, technically speaking, there's no reason to ever go to the bad future, gameplay-wise. If you, if you really think about it. Like, okay, present is where you start. That is the neutral state. Uh, past is where you go when you want to destroy the machines. And then good future is a version of the level with much fewer hazards. But then it's like, why go to the bad future besides by accident? <laughs> like, what's what's the point? <laughs> I mean, granted, it, it gave us more music and visuals, so I'm glad it exists. Bad future is a punishment. Yeah, I suppose. Though, then again, like I said, I... I feel like most of the time you're probably not going to be time-traveling by accident. Incidentally, you would miss out on the game's most well-known song. Well, I mean, in this version, at least... Uh, when you get to that part of the game, it always plays the Bad Future song. I don't know if it did that in the original, I forget. It does? Okay. Oh, uh, this- th like, the good futures just look so cool. Like, it's just such a pleasing use of colors. Yeah. Oh no, it's Robotkinik. And his head looks slightly rounder than normal. Aha, I got him. Oh no, he's escaping through the block hole. This, bo this boss is so stupid, I kind of love it. It's just like, 
Ha ha ha, Sonic! I will surround myself with bubbles! You are powerless to stop me now! Aw oh, dang, how am I gonna defeat Robotnik when he's surrounded by bubbles? Oh, I am invincible at last! Oh. <laughs> and then it only takes one hit to kill him. I mean, I guess the bubbles count as hits if you're looking at it a certain way. Ah, uh, yes, I'm rich. Uh, Quartz Quad. Well, I, I don't think I'm gonna play any more Sonic CD right now. Because I don't want to get going too long. Oh, new museum content. But, I feel like to pad it out a little bit, I'll check out Mission Mode for a minute. Okay, so Caterkiller Swarm. Defeat five Caterkillers and reach the goal. Oh no wait, I needed to kill five. For some reason, in my brain, I thought it was three for a second, for some reason. Oh, yep, S. Thank you. You wanna retry? No. I did it! I got the best rank. Why would I retry? I have already done everything I set out to do. I didn't read what this one was. It's, uh, reach the goal while the floor constantly shifts. What? What? Oh, okay. Let me- let me restart. I- I didn't understand. Oh, cool. Just let's- let's just make a mission out of the blocks. That's a great idea. <laughs> oh, dang it, tax man. Okay, can I get up on top? That's what I wanna know. Can I just scale it and get up on top of this? Okay, but there's... There's a crush hazard. Ac yeah, actually, no, that's not particularly safe. Oh, boy. Who at Sonic Team came up with this? I, I want names. What do I do? What do I do? No, give me up. Give me up. I don't think I'm gonna get an S rank on this one. Might have to try it again later. Yeah, S rank missed, but I did get an A. So that's at least something. Do I wanna retry? Not right now. Ring rush. Reach the goal with 100 rings while invincible. So do I have to do it before the invincibility runs out? Oh, no. I don't think that's possible. Yeah, they, they, they'll they have to give me another one or something. And they did. Okay, we're getting close. Getting close to the target. Oh, but I'm running out of time. I am running out of time. Yep, not getting an S rank on this either. I mean, I'm glad the S rank isn't just handed to you. Some Sonic games, it's just like, Oh, you beat the level without dying? Yeah, sure, have an S rank. Oh, I got a B rank.
ring challenge 50. Gather 50 rings within three minutes. Stealth is tweeting right now that they messed off. They messed with what they turned in for Sonic 3. Oh, so Stealth is pushing the blame on Sonic Team? Interesting. I'm I'm interested to see how this news develops. Oh boy, Labyrinth. Ah, uh, crap. Ah, you know, that went well. That went well. Let me check out this stealth tweet. Oh, hey, uh, Frankerface Z actually, like, previews the tweet for me. It says, okay, this is frustrating. I won't lie and say there weren't issues in what we gave to Sega, but what is in Origins is also not what we turned in. Integration introduced some wild bugs that conventional logic would have one believe were our responsibility. A lot of them aren't. Is there any more to that? Let me see. Regarding Origins, we were outsiders creating a separate project that was then wrangled into something entirely different. We knew going in that there would be a major time crunch. Well, let me move my browser over here. We knew going in that there would be a major time crunch and we worked ourselves into the ground to meet it just so this would even be made and released. Again, we, I can take responsibility for my and my team mistakes, and there were some. Some actual mistakes, some overlooking, some rush jobs, some stuff we noticed but weren't allowed to correct near the end. It's absolutely not perfect, and some of it is from us. It's complicated. I'm extremely proud of my team for their performance under such pressure, but every one of us is unhappy about the state of Origins and even the Sonic 3 component. We weren't too thrilled about its pre-submission state either, but a lot was beyond our control. We asked to do major fixes near submission, but weren't allowed due to submission and approval rules. We asked about delays early and repeatedly, but told they weren't, were told they weren't possible. We offered to come back for post-release fixes and updates. We do not yet know if this is happening. We want these problems to be addressed. We provided a ton of feedback during and after development for both Origins and its Sonic 3 integration. We've done a good chunk of our work after our work term was over to fix things, support Sega, and prepare for future updates. I have to apologize for not addressing anything like this sooner, but you must understand, many things of this sort are considered unprofessional and can hurt our relationship with Sega, meaning no Origins updates and no further 2D Sonic Pixel games from us. Why am I talking about it now then? Well, there's just too much scrutiny over things that are both are and are not related to us, and I don't want to sit back in silence while, peop while people are asking why and how things happen to a product they put so much hope and money into. I hear you. Headcanon hears you. We wanted this to be right then and now. There's so much that you'll never understand within the realm of this kind of work, but know and understand this. We try our best to our own detriment, and we care about our work and about Sonic. Well, dang, it's... It, it, it kind of does hurt to read that, and I hope Sega doesn't take it... I hope Sega doesn't, like, take it too close to the... Y you know. I, I hope they don't take it too poorly. And I, I really do hope that Sega improves this. You know? I, I hope that they allow this to be improved. I hope they have updates to fix some of the issues. And I hope they let Stealth and Head Cannon, you know, fix things on their end, like stuff with Head, the Sonic 3 integr- Oh God, Sonic 3 integration. Because I, I genuinely want Origins to be something I love, you know? I want this, I want to be able to point to this and say, this is how you want to play these games. This is how you want to do it. But in, in its current state, I'm not sure if I can. I mean, it's still, it's not awful, you know, like I said before, it's not dreadful, but it's just, there's so, just enough, like, little things that, that just get under my skin about it. You know, like the scaling, the one thing, the, the audio in Sonic 1 seemed a little weird, uh, you know, so on and so forth. 
and Sonic 3 just seems weirdly buggy. And I, I hope they're given the chance to fix these things, and I hope... I hope they have the time and, like, the... I want to say the go-ahead to do it. Because, like, the, I'm, I'm looking at this, and I, I see there's a lot of potential, but sadly not all of it is met. And I, I hope we eventually live in a world where it is. Because, I, like I said, I, I want to love this. I want to say, this, this is the way that you want to play Sonic. Oh yeah, and also I didn't even bring up, but the, the Sonic 3 music, I've, I've been talking about it in... I've been talking about it on Discord. I, I don't think it's awful, but it's definitely not ideal. It might just be like a MIDI slap. Or it might be from an even earlier beta, but either way, I'm not like super happy with how it turned out. But, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. I, I'm hoping to play through every game in this collection. And, I, you know, I might do all the missions. I might not get, you know, S rank and all of them, but I want to I wanna check out the exclusive content of this. I, I want to see what's I want to see what's going on. I want to see what was brought to the table here. Like I said, unless it's improved, I may not do my uh, Tails playthroughs and you know my Knuckles and Sonic 2 playthrough in Origins because I, I feel like the games just really deserve a little bit better. I, I I would like to have an integer scale. I know you know. A lot of people look at that and they're like, Dust why does Dustin care so much about this? But I, I think it's important to show the game in, in the best possible form. And, you know, even if it's in a bit of a, even if it's in a layout that I don't normally, that I don't normally do, like, just, just to show everybody, I wanted, you know, my initial plan was, Sorry, uh, my- <laughs> I forgot to add my ASIO source, and, uh, Sonic Origins just loses sound whenever it's out of focus. What I was saying was, I, I wanted to have a layout like this, originally. Which is not, you know, it's not ideal, it's not what I like to do. Yeah, like, the chat's kinda hard to read at the moment. But I wanted to do it to have a, you know, a big enough integer scale of the game. So that, you know, so that the game would go... Maybe I could just add, like, a drop shadow to the chat or something, like a more... A more intense drop shadow. I don't know. It'd be nice if there was some way to adapt it. Like, have it adapt where, like, if it's on black, it's... what. I mean, I guess if it's on black, the text is white. So, I mean, I don't know. But yeah, the thing is, though... Oh, I'll, I'll go back in just a second. Let me... Let me put this back where it was, roughly. But yeah, since the since this game is kind of just filtered to hell, there's not much reason to do it. You know, the the image has already been you know damaged, as it were. I don't know. That's a it's a little unfortunate. Anyway, though, I I've, I think I've pretty much said my piece, and I I, I think I'm gonna go now. I think I got to go to the bathroom, if I'm being honest with you. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Good to see all of you. Like I said, I'll be back with this at some point. You know, I might... I might not, like, play it all in a row like I was thinking about doing, because... Like, if this game is going to get patched, I, I want to give it a chance to get patched. You know, see if some of the stuff gets ironed out, but... Either way, I, I will be back with this. That's, that's what I'm getting at. Uh, but I'll see you around, everybody. Thanks, have a good night. Uh, if, if it's night where you are, I think it is for everyone in the chat right now, but uh, see, see ya.